Well, welcome back. Another video with Fonz, guys. And today we've decided to do a how to AA. Um, this is basically for all the German players out there struggling with um, the CAS planes at the moment. Uh, the spam from the LA teams of the attackers and uh, fighters with uh, ground ordnance. So, we've, uh, yeah, I thought I'd just do up a quick video. Um, just pointing out a few tips and tricks that I use. Uh, helps me get a few air kills here and there. Um, there's only three vehicles I use for AA vehicles uh, for Germany, and that's the uh, Werberwind, the Kluger Blitz, and the 8.0 Gepard. Uh, the reason why I only use these vehicles is because they're extremely effective due to their high rate of fires. High rate of fire correction. Um, now, when when you first spawn out, or when you first notice an aircraft coming in from the spawn point, hold your fire. And the reason for this is you basically don't want to make yourself a priority target for that attacker that's coming in. I know myself as a pilot, if I see an AA vehicle shooting at me as soon as I spawn in, I'll basically, yeah, he's like my number one, I'll try and take him out. Um, the other reason why you want to hold your fire is they're too far away. You're not going to hit them, you're not going to kill them. And you're just basically letting everybody on the, on the ground know where you are. So hold your fire and wait. And you wait until... Um, you'll see here when I fire, I wait until the aircraft starts to make his dive. And the, the reason why I do that is because you know that he's now committed into a ground attack and he's not going to try and do any evasive maneuvers, maneuvers on you. Um, if you get a good lead, you should be able to get him to, you should be able to shoot him down. Uh, secondly, uh, this is more... Um, apparent with the the Weber wind, the reason why you hold fire and you d don't try and engage too far out is because the any air rounds that you're using, the self destroying, well they're self destroying, so they're only good. Uh, like they'll self destroy after about a kilometre or so, so you don't want to shoot too far because you're just basically wasting ammo. Um, and of course the plane's much easier to shoot when it's right in close than it is um, heaps far out. Um, exception to that is the um, Kluger Blitz and uh, the Gepard, but I'll get onto those later. Um, another thing, uh, once you've identified an aircraft, um, the reason why I like to do this is also after identifying an aircraft, if it's a fighter or a jet or you know attacker, it's going to give you some idea on how fast that vehicle's most likely going to be travelling and what sort of lead you're going to have to possibly give that vehicle um, to effectively shoot it down. <coughs> uh, moving on now, um, with with the Werberwind, oh, it, it, it also is not a bad vehicle for ground support, um, but I would, I'm more inclined to use, um, basically you don't want to go in head on um, fighting, um, use peekaboo tactics and ambush tactics, and I believe, uh, I think the rounds the armor piercing rounds is about 65 mil of armor penetration. So, you know, if you encounter sense, um, uh, your early British tiers uh, up to, you know, 5.0 and stuff, um, and especially the, the M18, the Kluger Blitz is abs uh, correction, sorry, the Whirlwind is absolutely deadly versus those. It'll rip them to pieces in, in seconds if you've um, armed up with your AP rounds. Um, next we're just going to go on to the Werberwind, and the Werberwind's a little bit different to, oh, sorry, the Klugerblitz. The Klugerblitz is a little bit different to the Werberwind, in the fact that you can engage from far, far, uh, like, distances out. Like, you'll see this guy here, he's quite a way away, and I'm still able to shoot him down. Um, and that's just due to the uh, MK103 rounds, they you know, they've got good velocity and um, they're quite effective out at range but however I, I will make it clear that on that initial engagement when it, when you spot an aircraft coming in hold your fire because you don't want to um, basically tele televise your uh, I can't even think of a correct word to, to explain it you do, basically don't want to give away your position you know what I mean like wait for him to come into that initial attack dive and just It'll make it a little bit easier to engage that plane. Um, we'll next go on to the Kluger Blitz. It's also um, 
Uh, I remember a few patches ago it was referred to as the Kluger cancel, cancel Kluger or whatever guys you want to call it because it's an extremely effective tank hunter. Um, uh, late in the mission, you know, if you've engaged a few planes, your team needs a bit of help capping, that sort of thing. It's very capable of being able to get in, uh, get onto a flank, um, use peekaboo, ambush tactics. And uh, I, I believe the Kluger um, will kill a T10. Don't quote me on that. Oh, I know the Gepard will kill, kill a T10 from the uh, flank. But I'm pretty sure the Kluger Blitz uh, is able to engage and effectively destroy um, those late tier vehicles as well. I, I definitely know I can uh, kill a Chieftain 3, Chieftain 5 from the flank, uh, from the side. Uh, due to the, I think it's about 112 millimeters of penetration, um, which is quite good for an AA gun. Uh, and the beauty of it also is the the final round. I, I can't I can't think of it at all. Fan, you see, I'm using it there. I think it's the one arm and piercing round to two uh, any air rounds. Um, is effective at killing planes and tanks, so that, that's a little bit of advantage there. Is you don't have to switch rounds. And something else I'll point out here, uh, just in this clip right here, is um, these two planes. You've got a ME262 and a Kai 84, and these guys weren't actually able to, for some unknown reason, weren't actually able to get behind that Spitfire and finish him off. Um, so something you want to think about doing if is if you've got a allied plane up that's got uh, an enemy plane on his six, call out to him and say, follow me, follow me. If he's paying attention at the time, he may actually come down, fly low, and actually present you with a really good shot at that plane that's on his six. Um, now, finally getting onto the Gepard. Um, basically, it's almost like driving the Kluger Blitz. It's got a little bit better rate of fire. Um, something I would point out with the uh, Gepard is you use short bursts because it's quite hard to see due to the muzzle flash. So just try and use short bursts. You've also got quite um, a small uh, ammunition load. I think it's 650 rounds to start with. So you want to use small bursts. It's got an extremely high rate of fire. So you don't really want to be hose piping the air trying to shoot shit down. Um, hold your fire, short bursts, and you should be able to effectively um, shoot shit down. Um, it's excellent at engaging uh, jets. You'll see here this is a P80, I believe. Uh, and you'll see here this is a fine example of holding fire. Okay, I've got two planes up there. I've got a guy going up there. And I've got a guy over here. Right, the P80 is closer, so I've prioritised him. And I'll wait. Wait, wait, wait. Small bursts. And boom, he's on fire. Crit. Uh, I can't track him anymore, but he's on fire. So I'm hoping, yeah, you know, he should go down. Um, but basically that's, he, he's now combat ineffective. Um, and there we go, he's gone down. Um, next we see, I'm not quite sure what this plane is, I can't remember. I think it might be a Spitfire or something, or maybe a um, beer can. Um, and yeah, you'll see here, it's just like the Kluger Blitz. This is a, a fair distance away, but we're actually still able to effectively engage him. Um, normally I probably wouldn't try and shoot him down, um, but the fact that he's on the Ho 2, 229, um, I'm like, yup. And he makes a, a lovely little dive there, so it makes a nice easy shot. Anyway, uh, that's all I've got for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like, give us a subscribe if you're feeling uh, kind, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. For